Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. We're good? Yes, we are good. Hi, thanks, Cam. We're live and on air, wow, as they say. That's amazing. What do you think? <gasps> you have a, an Hi, extra everybody. friend over here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get Instagram. Ooh. Welcome to Catskill Animal Sanctuary. Or welcome back to our regular fans and viewers. Thank you so much for being with us again today. Who's <laughs> that? I am Andrea. I'm here with my friend Cameron. Hello, uh, everyone. And also one of my best friends, Lucy Pig. And Mr. Russell came by to say hi to his neighbors, too. So we've got all sorts of friends to say hi to today. We thought we'd spend some time with the pigs and their dicks. Yeah, we're only missing our friend Lauren. I don't know where yeah. she went to. We have another person on our team, but I don't know. She's probably, she's Wait. probably sleeping on the job somewhere, what? snuggling in the straw. What? Lauren? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> have you been there all morning? I'm definitely awake now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely got Lauren right out of bed. Yep. Um, they are very, very sweet pigs, but of course they are large animals, so we just respect their size and maybe mm -hmm. don't roll around in their straw where they can't see us very yeah. well. So they're that's also, why pigs really oftentimes do like, oh, here comes oh, Regina. Here's oh. Regina. Pigs do like to get in your personal space. Oh, say hi. So. Hi, sweetie. Oh my gosh. Sweetie. Hello! Oh, having a good time in the mud, Regina. Hey, Look at you. Look at yeah. you, baby. Oh, oh, check out. She's Hi. Dirty. You're very dirty. Look yeah. at you. Hey, come check out Lucy. Yeah. Come check out Lucy. I love that. They do that every time. Hi. Hello, how are you? So here we have Scott and Regina. Oh, I can't have my hair. <laughs> can't have the hair. And they are so Girl. cute. They come check out Lucy every time they come back in the barn. So Lucy's one of our older girls, and so Scott and Regina have really been enjoying like milder weather and been out rooting and snooting in the mud. Um, and so, um, but every time they come back, these three are like bunk mates. Um, <laughs> they hang out, the three of them, and they share their bed space and their barn space. Hi Regina, my love! Hi! And uh, they're so cute. Every time they come back in, they check on our old girl Lucy here, who's typically in bed, though. A couple days this week, she went out, and uh, she did get some, some sunshine and spring weather, so it was really lovely. But they always come in and, and chatter with Lucy to tell her, I think. Um, they just check up, and they're like, who's here? Who's in our space? Are you cool with these visitors? Um, and they say hi, so it's really cute to hear them chatter back and forth. That's a happy pig noise. We love to hear that. So <laughs> they make a lot of noises. Um, pigs. And that's a good one. They're talking to each other. Hi, huh, Lucy Pig. So we are here hanging out with the pigs in their digs today. Getting some straw snuggles with, with Lauren. I'm having a uh, weird day. Like it's almost spring. It's spring adjacent but still a little bit chilly um so we're in a little bit rainy so we're happy to hang out with the pigs in their barn today huh lucy pig huh lucy pig what's all the commotion hi buddy she says what's hi, all the comm commotion what's going on hi yeah you baby you can't eat that you can't eat the camera leg so sorry <laughs> hi scott and so of course pigs uh their sense of smell is their strongest sense. They rely, hi baby, they rely on it a lot more than their, than their eyesight. So this is why we are always doing this, especially with Lucy, she's got older eyes. Um, and they'll smell us first and they recognize, uh, they smell a lot better than humans. Um, 
so <laughs> that's how we say hi. It's polite pig manners. I also just wanted to point out real quick, I just saw uh, someone in the chat commented asking about volunteers, which we also just replied to in the chat. But the person who asked is Regina. And really? Regina, uh, human Regina, human Regina. Uh, who is watching, I hope that you saw pig Regina come in. Regina. She's over here now. There she is. So there you are. <laughs> Regina the pig is also over here. She's a little bit more of a loner than her brother Scott. So she's doing her own thing over there, which is fine. Hi. Pigs don't, are not huge fans of the very cold winter weather, so we put them in here with tons of blankets and straw and heat lamps, and we close up the barn so it's nice and toasty warm in here for them, but of course then it's kind of dark and hi, so we make hi. You gonna say hi? Yeah. So, yeah, so we thought we would take advantage of a slightly milder, <laughs> they're so excited about the pet desert. And then they no. go. Uh, go uh, bye, pigs. They they're gone. The commotion, see if there's snacks. They're gone. Priorities, and then out they go. So they're out enjoying some rooting time in the field, and we'll go check that out in a minute. So, um, but before I forget, because it does take about ten or fifteen minutes, um, get this going, and then uh, now we can chat. We can chat and catch up with these with these beauties and and uh, learn more about their stories, etc. Um, but while we're out here, we're volunteering. So, uh, <laughs> some of our older residents, like Lucy here, or like Tucker, who's just so big boned, right? Um, in order to help them with having their optimal health, we use this beamer coat, it's called. Um, and Lucy loves her coat. Huh. And so, uh, <laughs> We, I admit I am not on the animal care team, of course, um, but I have learned how to use this thing. So it does have a battery that needs charging. And what this coat does is, um, hold on, I gotta make sure I'm gearing it up right, which I did not. Uh, <laughs> that was a fail, it turned it off somehow. Um, all right, I think we're good. Um, so um, what we have this for is, uh, is some of our older residents get this treatment every single day as part of their routine. Andrea, Andrea, routine care. Behind you, Andrea, behind you. My baby, <laughs> my other baby. I can't handle all the baby. Ferguson, hey, he's always here. We are like, what are you doing, and why is it not with me? Hi. Hi, Ferg. I'm sorry. Ferg alert. I'm sorry. I'm gonna snuggle with you too. Don't you worry. <laughs> You don't need the beamer coat quite yet. No, you're a young man still. <laughs> you're still just five. But for some of our older residents or residents like Tucker, um, who are just so, so big, um, this is to help with primarily muscles from what we were researching today. Um, it just helps with uh, circulation and um, it's a bit of restorative care for animals who are a little bit older or maybe have some older creaky bones. Um, and so Lucy gets this for about uh, 15 minutes a day and um, I think she likes it just because it's a it's kind of like a weighted blanket honestly if you have those. I love Ferguson watching. He's so oh, it's like what are you Please. doing? And why is it not food? with me? What do you think? You want your oh. coat? You love your coat? Are <laughs> you, like, are you who is this it? young upstart? Is there a sheep in there? <laughs> What's all the commotion today? Huh? Hold on, Lucy. So what we do with this thing is we just put it. It's kind of doesn't. It's not a perfect fit for Lucy. What's wrong? You love your coat usually. Oh, sorry. Too much commotion. <laughs> well, there's a sheep in my there's barn. A sheep in my barn. There's a Russell pig. Scott and Regina. The kids are coming and running around. Loose. So we use the, the beamer coat or beamer treatments to really just help promote circulation um, and be a little bit of a restorative treatment for them, um, especially with our older our older residents like Miss Lucy Pig here. Huh. I could use it too. 
I'm older than any of the residents here, and I could really use this coat, I think, buddy. Yeah. So she, so Animal Care takes, takes great care of these animals daily and provides them with anything we can do to help them, um, to help make the aging process a little less rough on them. So Lucy has still been going out and enjoying some of the sunshine and spring weather, so we're so happy about that. Um, but she will often come back into bed and, and just want to stay warm. And so she gets her, she gets her coat, don't you, Lucy? And usually when she gets her coat, um, the best part is you spend like 10 or 15 minutes with her and it's a terrible hard job because <laughs> you have to give her a massage to go with it. Huh, Lucy? Or you gotta hold her hooves. Huh, sometimes we hold hooves. Sometimes we do belly rubs. Sometimes we do an exfoliating treatment to go with it. Huh, Lucy? <laughs> so, it's pretty fun. It's a terrible 10 minutes to spend your day. Um, huh, Lucy? It's a good excuse for some um, straw snuggles. Isn't it, baby? So this is Lucy. She's a little bit of um, kind of an old grumpus, but she's perfect. She's perfect. Uh, she's like my, um, she's like me as a pig, I think, you know? A little, little, little grouchy. And we don't actually even no. know how old she is, do we? No. You're a mystery <laughs> girl. Um, which one of you wants to remind our viewers of uh, Lucy's story here? Well... We don't really know much about Lucy's story. Isn't she that is right? a little bit of a mystery, yes. So she came from a different sanctuary mm -hmm. back in 2015, and we don't really know much about her history before then. <laughs> the end. Yeah, before, before, <laughs> well, before that, where that sanctuary got her from, the other sanctuary there, they're sort of like a pig focused sanctuary. Uh, right. sanctuary. Um, and apparently where she was then was she was either living at or found at like a granite business. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. nuts. Right? Like what is a pig doing there? <laughs> and that's why it's like, I don't know if she just like stumbled into this place or if she had been living there for a while. You were living in the granite piles? Yeah. So I do, no. I don't know. And that's why, again, we don't know exactly don't really how old know. she is or right. anything. She's oh, definitely an older girl. So we, we put her, like, you know, at it's least terrible. 10 years old, but... Yeah, it's terrible. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I didn't realize you came from the granite piles. That's a new story, huh? That's a yeah. unique story. It's so many of our animals here are just found mm -hmm. in places. It's like, how did you... How did you get How to that place? How did this happen? <laughs> How did you get here? I can see her being someone who who would escape from, I mean, if anyone can escape from uh, the industry, it could, it could be Lucy, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like Jasmine, like, I'm living right? in the granite piles. Like, I can see that. <laughs> she's like, forget this life. I'm not about this life. <laughs> I gotta go, because I gotta go to the granite so that then I can end up at Catskill Animal Sanctuary with my beamer coat and live out my days as I should live them and as they all should be able to. So <laughs> I can see that about Lucy, can't you? I, I can see her being an escapee. Yeah. For sure. When she was stray. younger and a bit more spry. You were just stray. Yeah, I'm so glad you found her. Now she's way. got her uh, little young friends around. Oh Scott my gosh, and the ear! I know. Oh, well, what is that ear? She's so perfect. She just listen to one ear. You try not to fall asleep, huh? Yeah. She usually loves her coat and rub, like rolls over and lets me rub her belly. Aww. But we're talking, so maybe she's like, "What the? What the heck, Andrea? It's belly rub time, not talk time. What's all the commotion, huh?" Oh, sweet oh, someone on Instagram said, I want to live out my days just like Lucy. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Humans and animals alike, right? Yeah. Uh, we all just want to be able to live out our days in comfort and warmth and with nice blankets and food and water and shelter. So, huh, what a beautiful girl. So I really love this pig, um, as we love all our pigs, but I, I like having a good excuse to come out here <laughs> and give her her coat. They're all your favorite, but terrible. Lucy is your favorite. They're all my favorite, but Lucy's my favorite. Yeah, she's my girl, huh, Moose? Huh, she's my girl. Old and grumpy, just like me. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of 
Kindred. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now Scott and Regina, who you saw before, and we'll go out and see them in a minute. Um, do you, uh, Cameron, or, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about, about them and what you remember about them and can share with our audience? Yeah, they were rescued with a bunch of their siblings. They are also siblings. Yep, they are brother and sister. Um, Super cute. I think it was a total of 11 of them, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, you're good with from the a mm -hmm. farmer who had sort of a change of heart. Mm -hmm. And we had, 11, we had all 11 of them. Yes. At, so, <laughs> oh, so I did see them. That was, so they arrived the here in... Oh, oh, they no, arrived here in March of 2015, so it's now been seven years that they've been right. with us. Um, oh no, they arrived here, excuse me, they arrived here in June of 2015, and we estimated that they were three months old. Yeah, they were so little. Their birthday is right around now. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that is. detail. Yes, it's their birthday right around now, so they're turning seven, seven. Uh, which is, you know... Uh, starting to get over the hill mm -hmm. a little bit for a pig but like the two of them and, and their other brothers and sisters are in fantastic shape they're doing they're doing they're great really doing well yeah 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 they act just really young and yeah they do yeah perky and they ended up with our old lady here <laughs> you know, the cutest little trio like they yeah. do they check on her and they come in and they're like who's here and what are you doing with our lucy and then lucy's like it's cool guys it's cool and then they're like, all right, cool, we'll see you in a bit. And then they leave and they go yeah. back out and root around. Or sometimes they do zoomies, which is adorable. Mm -hmm. Although also a little bit, you're like, wow, you guys are large. Like, Yeah, like, <laughs> how, how do you get to move so fast? It seems. <laughs> yeah, they can really move. Huh? Pigs are very fast. Mm -hmm. I don't know it's not you and me. We like to just snuggle and have our treatment and yawn a little bit. Are you going to yawn? Piggy yawns are the best things ever. Oh no! I thought it was right on cue. We've been practicing that, huh? Can you yawn? Can you yawn? Do you want kisses? Do they get contagious they get yawns, kisses? actually? I don't know. <laughs> For science. Does anyone, does anyone have to yawn right now? Oh, try, so to, try to try to bring one up. <laughs> so tired. Cue the yawns, Luke. Cue the yawns. <laughs> yeah, so we just kind of chill here with Lucy and do her treatment. But maybe we should. Yeah, it's a really it. tough job. It's terrible. I don't know. Do we want to see what the other two are rooting up out there while we wait for. Rooting and snooting? Yeah, rooting and snooting. All right. All right. Do uh, you want to go through the. Oh, yeah, okay. That's okay. Yeah, we'll go. Because we'll it's. You with your coat. We're we'll going around. Just keep on yep. relaxing. Uh -huh. And then we'll go see what the other three. Not that you're not fun to watch with your coat. We just. We'll let you, just we'll let you yeah, have a nice nap. <laughs> and we'll come back in a minute, huh? Yeah, we'll come right back. Ah, a beautiful sanctuary look. Oh, they're coming! They're coming. Oh, ho, ho. What's happening? What are we missing? Oh, no. We're getting some big pig. <laughs> days in Florida at another yep. sanctuary of yep. course and a few of them are here still everyone's doing very well hi gorgeous <laughs> and uh, it is mud season here at the sanctuary uh, you know, with spring as everything is thawing and melting and all that is going on plus you know the rain um, it's a mess. It's messy, but the pigs <laughs> are loving it. There, isn't it, sweetheart? Look at them, though. They're so happy. Pigs will spend uh, anywhere from between about five to eight hours a day rooting if they're allowed. Um, very natural behavior for them. So you can see that does not help the grass grow back. Um, but they're very, very, very happy to be out there with their noses and the ground not frozen again. Yeah, because when, um, yeah, when the ground is frozen, there's not so much for them to do and pigs are not huge fans of the cold weather in general 
So once everything kind of thaws out and, and is, is they can play again, they're just like, Whoa! Woo! And in the back we got Ginger and Amelia, who they're very far right now, but they are super fun to say hi to as well. Amelia on the right with her fluffy, perfect ears, and Ginger with the spots on the left. Super cute girl, all enjoying the nice spring weather today. Springish. Mm, springish. Springish. It's not too bad. It's, it's really sweaty. nice to see them because we don't see much of the pigs outdoors in the winter time. Pigs really like to be warm and and cozy inside their barns in the winter. Hang on, we got goats. We got goats going. We got all sorts of people. Um, so Cameron, why don't you let you know, why don't you give your arms a break? And then why don't we uh why don't we go visit with one of the last pigs on our stop here and you want to go practice some uh, very important belly rubs and say hi to some goats on the way over here Sounds good. <laughs> so friends right now we're gonna walk with cam here we've got uh i'm sure you recognize these two they're on almost every episode right we have chester and, and molly checking things right. out and and uh <laughs> and checking things out yeah, and then we have Cameron. Everybody say hi to Cameron on camera. I know you know her voice very well. Um, she's also the voice of Cupid and Russell. Um, oh, Cupid! Speaking of Cupid, let's see what Cupid has to say today. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry, Instagram. Hold on, we're on the move here. My buddy. Oh, that's good. It's a good scratch. I'm trying to turn my. So there we go. Right He's very fluffy. So there's our buddy Cupid. Go always, oh, Shannon. Goats everywhere. They are everywhere. We can't. Not that we'd want to avoid them, but we cannot avoid. Look at them. They're everywhere. Here they come. Look at them. Like a little gang. <laughs> Sam, hanging out with all your ladies. Oh, oh, oh sp speaking of goats, soap speaking opera goats. at the sanctuary. Oh. This is Sam and all his girls. All like, his they're all in love with him now yeah, that I yeah. look around. Yeah. Like, Lonnie, she's got a He's thing a for player. Sam. Hermione, the other day, had a thing for Sam. Yep. Uh... Who else had a thing for, I think, did Thelma? Thelma. Yeah, Thelma and Especially Sam are the Thelma original and couple. Sam. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh my gosh, you also, really are walking around with all of your yeah, girlfriends? he's also hopped from twin to twin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, Mama Jackie? Yeah, you girls have the same boyfriend. Anyway, all right, back to pig time. Speaking of pigs, there's a non-goat in the background there. Another pig who's very, very happy to have a more mild day. So we're gonna go on in here. Give us one more second, fans. Sorry for the, uh, Sorry, the, the, what's the word I'm looking for, Lauren? The, the I don't movement. even know. The movement, that's a good word. You wanna say hi to Charlotte quickly? Hi, Charlotte. There's Charlotte. Charlotte is also rootin' and snootin'. That was an alternate title for this uh, Rootin' and snootin'? Snuggles in the straw, pigs in their digs. So this is this is Charlotte. Cam, do you want to tell us what you remember about Miss Charlotte here? Old girl. She's an old girl. She's almost as old as Cameron. She's probably 16 or 17. 16, 17, yeah. And she was an apartment pig. An apartment living, pig. Living, probably living with someone as uh, as a pet. As a pet for yeah. a while. Um, but ended up at um, like a shelter for dogs and cats. As is often the case, yeah. sadly. Which is weird because pigs are not dogs nor cats. No. They're and, not. And uh, dog and cat shelters really don't have the resources nor the means to care or home. No, because look at all this pigs. space. Like, pigs need a lot of space oh, for yes. activities and rooting and snooting. And rooting and snooting. Like literally, they've done all of this. Oh, yeah, the, the yeah. two of the two of them. You can see in the back. There's like a green field starting to come back, but not the pig field, because the girls no. just keep rooting and, and certainly, snooting. Certainly, uh, 
Yeah, certainly not really an apartment size pet. No. There was, also two of them. there was a second one with her name Maggie. Uh, Maggie unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. Um, you know, the girls are, are, are getting kind of old. So. They are, but Charlotte's doing really well. Oh, oh our friend oh, she, Megan's she, watching. Hi, Megan. She does not show her age. No, uh, whatsoever. No, she, she's doing really, really well. So we're happy oh, to have her, but no. sadly almost, uh, or more than, it's estimated more than 90% of potbelly pigs are quote unquote mini pigs that aren't really real. Um, and yeah, up, there's no such thing as a mini pig. Is there no, such thing as a teacup pig? No, 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 because this is Micro a mini pig. pig. And how much does no. she weigh, my friends? Anybody remember? She's about 100 pounds. And that's pretty typical for a, a, a quote unquote mini pig because it is very small for a that's pig. Than my dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, but a mini dog. exactly. Oh. But typically they grow to be about 100 to 200 pounds. So people don't realize that they, they don't stay in. Um, apartments very well and they certainly don't stay as small as people think they do um, so that's Miss Charlotte so we're lucky to be to have her and glad to be that she's out and about honestly because she really does not enjoy the um, the winter weather it makes her grouchy <laughs> and then we have Miss Jasmine oh we do let's Jasmine. Jasmine. there's the Jasmine, Jasmine. call Jasmine, Jasmine. Come here, Jasmine! She's like, I'm busy. I'm yeah. rooting. Don't you know that the weather is beautiful? They're rooting and, I'm rooting and snooting, guys. I'm rooting and snooting. Jasmine! Jasmine Pig! Normally this works better. It does. <laughs> we try it. And we have little kids. We ask little kids to call her, and it's the cutest thing ever. They're like, Jasmine! And then she... <laughs> Someone's going to help me, right? I will get you out. Thank sure. You. I'll bring your boot to you. We may chuckle. <laughs> we may chuckle first, but we'll come save you. Maybe we can move a little bit closer. I think the wife. Jasmine! Come here, Jasmine Pig! She's walking further away. Jasmine! Yeah, a fun game to play with some of the guests that come to visit us is to ask them how old they think Charlotte is versus how old they think Jasmine is, because oftentimes they think Jasmine is the older one. Yeah. Just because she's bigger. And how old Andy. is she, Cameron? She is, she just turned seven in October. Seven. She got here in October seven years ago, last October. So but she was coming, a piglet. But she was a piglet. Yeah, so she's coming up on eight later this year. Again, you a little bit of, of a guess. Jasmine! But she's coming up on eight. She's like, I'm busy, Andrea. Also, Charlotte's peeing behind you. But what is the... Uh, I don't know if the audio Well, we'll give her <laughs> we'll give her privacy for that, but No, yeah, I just don't know um, if the audio is picking that up. We love to uh to have Jasmine on uh tours because she really loves um belly rub. So if you've been here to visit, you have likely met Jasmine. And then uh Cam, do you wanna tell us what you remember about Jasmine's story? Oh, She's one of my yeah. favorite rescue stories. She's here. had a great rescue story. Jasmine was found oh, uh, as Snoopy. a piglet, like we said, Live. Um, by herself in the woods by a friend of the sanctuary um, who was on a like a hike or something with her dog. Um, and Jasmine was a tiny little piglet, not entirely sure where this piglet came from to be all alone in the woods. But she was eventually... Not a great place for a baby piglet. <laughs> no, not, no, not a very not safe, not safe. safe place for a piglet. No, it's not. But um, our friend of the sanctuary was was able to get Jasmine uh, to her safely by sort of bribing her with a vegan shepherd's pie, which is really funny to me. Tasty. Yeah. It sounds also it delicious. Is, it is tricky to <gasps> that was a great root, Charlotte. Oh yeah, right on cue, root really and that. snooting. Look at that live yeah, so root. One, one thing I like to tell people, by the way, is if you uh, if you ever need to catch a pig, we know that the vegan shepherd pie <laughs> worked once. Pretty sure fire away. <laughs> so look at her go. Yeah, just. I yeah. love this, and this is why they don't love apartments, and this is also why my indoor pig who can go outdoors whenever she feels like it but prefers not to in the winter also likes to root up floorboards because this is a very natural behavior for for pigs of course so they need They're lots of space guy. to do this they pick up a lot of minerals this way mm -hmm. they look for snacks oh yeah um 
interesting things to find. Yeah. And I've read before now. I have. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was great, Char. You're so sweet. That's some 3D Ms. for you to use Miss Charlie. Yeah, that was amazing, <laughs> Miss Charlotte. Right <laughs> and she, yeah, that was perfect. She, uh. Now I forgot because it was so cute. What we were going with this. Oh, but um, rumor has it, and I haven't tested the theory myself, but that they can smell uh, up to six feet underneath them, actually. Their sense of smell is so good. Mm -hmm. Which is another reason why uh, the up to 99% of pigs kept in factory farms really suffer so much because um, they smell... <laughs> They smell so very well that it's like torturous for them to live inside um, and smell, you know, urine and feces and not be able to just smell dirt or apples or willow. Or not smell really awful smells. And not smell awful smells. So, Charlotte, that was adorable. He's throwing, Charlotte, throwing Charlotte. dirt on, on Lauren. I loved it. Um, and I can't even believe this, friends, but I... It is 1.31 now, no, and I have to no go way. check on Lucy and make sure that she took a nice nap under her blanket. Yes. Um, and so um, we hope you guys had a good time today seeing the pigs in their digs and revisiting them now that it's a little nicer out. Um, we thank you so much for joining us today yes. and every day. Um, so <laughs> please come back, watch, share our YouTube links, please. Um, plugs? Plugs? Podcast. 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 If you don't listen to Kathy. So Kathy Stevens, our uh, founder, who's around somewhere. She's, She's around here. today. She's somewhere. I don't yeah. know where. Uh, or just fed us a great lunch. Yes. <laughs> uh, we also had a good lunch today, didn't we? We got a lot of good uh, vegan food around this here. This week, the podcast episode of So Heard Around the Barn is the podcast. We can put the link to that in the chat, wherever the chat is on your screen, depending on what you're watching. Look for it there. Um, and this week she had an interview with someone who's involved in um, animal protection and rescue in Ukraine. With, uh, oh, that's exciting. I mean, not exciting, but I mean, a cool, uh, cool, cool episode. Everyone. So, um, I have not listened to it yet. My apologies. Shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> we edit, we edit. No, it's okay. Fine. It's okay. We just haven't had time from all the other hard work you've been doing, Lauren. But we will listen. We promise. Um, and uh, yeah, very timely episode. So subscribe to Heard Around the Barn. Listen to Kathy. Uh, join us here again next week. We would appreciate it. And uh, what else? We love you. I think that's it. <laughs> we love you all. We hope you're doing well wherever you are. We miss you. Oh, Can't wait to have you too. all back. So. Okay, friends, you want to wave goodbye to our lovely Bye, viewers? And we, will, we will you turn hope to. So. She, yeah, you are. They're going to have to come help me. Um, but thank you so, so much for. No, of course I don't. <laughs> thank you, friends. Bye. We love you. Bye. Talk to you soon.